Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the coaching career or the coaching carousel of Matt Marvel as we're here in week four and today we have a nice game here. We're going to be on the road and we're going to be playing one against the uh, military academies and that will be Navy as you see there Navy currently one and one they are 0 and one in conference and right now on by the numbers there we are the better fit here for this today's game. And uh, after the last couple of weeks here, we've been playing very well for ourselves, especially with that man right there, Mario Anderson, who's been a very impactful player for us and has put up some uh, really good numbers uh, for us in the last couple of weeks. Had a really big, nice game last week, which got him the honors as player of the week. 38 carries, 254 yards, and of course, three rushing touchdowns, having, uh, also having 15 broken tackles, uh, Mario Anderson got himself a player of the, of the week award for the conference now you take a look at navy last week they lost or actually uh, about a week or so ago they lost um to uh or yeah it lost last week against to temple uh by 10 24 14 and of course they would like to try to bounce back here as their quarterback was eight for 11 in that game only threw 87 yards in that uh game against temple and had two touchdowns as well as a sack. Running game, of course, uh, Alex uh, Tazak, he had 10 carries for 84 yards. And the quarterback as well has 16 carries for 34 yards. And, of course, there was no rushing touchdowns in the game. And it just the uh, for the most part here, the uh, Navy uh, just could, could the shipment couldn't really stop the air game that was uh, that Temple uh, were putting on them. So, this week, uh, the shipmen are going to be at home. They're going to try to see if they can do a better job than they did against the Owls here against this, uh, against us this week. And, of course, uh, our game last week was a uh, nice one there as we had a very great performance, like I said, from Mario and from pretty much everybody on the squad. Um, and as you take a look here at the conference record right now, we're currently right now tied in first place with a perfect record overall, 3-0 there with the Charlotte uh, 49ers there and of course so so here are some of the impact players or some of the players that we need to watch out for here uh, you got Ryan Lane here the third who is uh, gonna be a very info pack for of course our halfback as well uh, he is gonna be a guy that we're gonna have to definitely try to slow down Colin Ramos is uh, one of, I believe he is their uh, right outside linebacker he is definitely gonna be uh, looking lurking around that secondary and of course Blake uh, Harthaf, uh, there he will of course be a scrambling quarterback, and if in uh, if need, he will definitely uh, throw the ball and uh, get rid of it as uh, quickly as he can. Stonehouse did not sign with us, or did, uh, or neither did uh, Dora, or uh, some guys that we're looking at. Some of the early non ver or non commitments here uh, gave both gave verbal commitments to uh, to the Volunteers of Tennessee and of course uh, Arkansas uh, and the, with the Razorbacks there. So. Verbal commitments, that means they're verbally uh, committed to them, but that don't necessarily mean they're necessarily signed. We can definitely sway them, or they can easily change their mind uh, towards the end of the season. So here we are for this game here against uh, the Navy Shipmen, and it is a packed, uh, well, decent packed house here uh, for this uh, American game, uh, American conference game here today. So we're going to try to see if we can have a really good showing here. There you see a lot of the officers, and of course, uh, uh, fans of the Navy uh, former uh, veterans out probably out there as well watching this game we'll see here with Navy or well, actually we'll have the ball here first with Anderson as we'll run it nicely there for a first down so moving the chains here of course utilizing his ability here now Navy did score the first points of the game they did score three points so we'll try to see if we can try to uh, come back with uh, something better with a touchdown as we see uh, Lansphere gets a catch there for a nice reception so, like I said, the first four or first three weeks here so far this season has been really excellent here, for, and it's just been uh, gangbusters for us. And right now, we just want to kind of just now focus on a lot of these uh, conference games that we're in right now, and uh, just try to do well as best as we possibly can. As now, Thomas has the football here. Thomas going off the left hand side there. He's going to get around the edge and get down all the way to the inside of the twenty with a nice run there from him. There you see some of the officers here as well watching the game i'm so uh, so great to see the 
uh, they added that into the game again, just like they did back in the old days. As we see a great touchdown catch, and that is going to be in the end zone there. Touchdown, Memphis. As the Memphis Tigers keep rolling on here, they get their first touchdown of the day. And I believe that is going to be uh, Drake. Uh, so I thought that who that was there on that touchdown catch. As there's 343, uh, excuse me, 348 left here in this first quarter. And take a look here. Just zips that ball right in there. As uh, Hinging did a great job there on that pit, on that uh, throwing that ball there. So now we'll get the ball back here quickly as after Navy goes a quick three and out. And we'll see a deep pass here. That's going to be caught by Taylor. And Rock Taylor's going to go in there with no problems. Untouched into the end zone there. Great follow through from the quarterback there. Leading that ball there to the receiver. Getting him into the end zone there. And that's going to be a touchdown for him. As that is going to be the first touchdown day for Taylor. And there you see they're like, yeah, what is going on? As that uh, Navy defense, just like we seen last week, hey, you know, we, we watched the tape. We've seen the, what they could uh, could and could not do against the passing game. And for the most part here, they just did not have a good passing defense helping them out. So we're going to try to expose that here as we see now a 14-3 lead for Memphis. As, uh, now we have the ball here. And, of course, should we go out pretty quickly here. And then you see we're trying to run a play. It's a newer play that I'm not really familiar with. And I just really did a horrible job there. But they did a great job reading that one on. Uh, on their part, as we'll see a pass here going up there. That's going to be caught, and that's going to be a catch, and that will be a first down for the Tigers. As, of course, our offenses, or our defenses, uh, you know, I've been saying this the last couple of episodes here, but our defense has uh, really stepped up here today, and I feel like they can do the same thing here again. As we'll see a running play here. This is going to be for Anderson. Finds a first down marker and gets a lot more there as he'll get a gain of 15 on that play. And that's going to, again, move the chains here, which is now a few seconds left here in the first quarter. And, of course, Anderson uh, just been a great job there in the backfield. There's a pass. That's going to get tipped away. And that is uh, it for the first quarter. As we have a nice lead here now, 14-3. to Let's see if we can keep it up as we go to the second half. Or, or I should say the second quarter. As I take a look here at the numbers right now for this one, and so far... The numbers look pretty good here for the Memphis Tigers. Tigers will now switch up sides here as we'll be now going the other direction here on this second and 10. Hannigan here throws up the middle there. That's going to go to Taylor again. Taylor's going to get the catch and he's going to get stopped inside the fire, inside the, yeah, inside the five there. As now we'll see here, first and goal coming up. And a handoff there to Anderson, and he just bulldozes his way into the end zone there. Touchdown, Memphis Tigers. As the Tigers get in again, this time Anderson gets another rushing touchdown here. This will be his second of the day. And a great run there for him. As he's able to put his head down and just get himself into the end zone there. Great blocking that time around from the offensive line. And got to give praise to them. 21-3. Here with nine, uh, with uh, nine twenty-seven left here in the first half. Man in motion here. I believe that is Lansphere. As they'll hand this off to Anderson here, and Anderson get a good uh, block there. Gets a nice big gap to run through, and he is going to get himself another first down. As they again move the chains, twenty-one-three. As we're just going to really just offensively, Coach Marvel, uh, offensive coordinator. Of course, this is what this series is about him. And he just want to utilize the time out here on offense. Just take their time, find the plays they can run, and just try to run the offense. And uh, key, and it really, really just stick it to that defense that Navy has right now and just kind of wear them out. And uh, just get them on that, have them keep, keep them on that field as long as we possibly can. But at the same time, moving the football. So great pass there to Drake for the first down. That's going to get him on the other side of the 50 here now in Shipman territory. As we'll see now, first and 10 and play action. Hennigan here throws this one up there. That's going to be thrown there to Drake, and he gets the catch, and that's going to get him inside the 10. And a great job there for him as he's able to get in there, and that's going to be another first down here for the Tigers. Tigers looking at uh, getting another touchdown here. We'll see what they'll do. They'll go through the air or go through the ground game again. Again, they're going to hand this one off to Anderson. Anderson 
trying to break this tackle, but he's going to go about to the about the two yard line. So now we'll see. Actually, we'll place him at the one yard line. So we'll see what they'll try to do this time. Direct snap to Thomas this time. He's in the game. He gets a touchdown. Touchdown, Memphis Tigers. And they are now just definitely taking a huge lead here. As we still got 741 left here in this first half. It's already a 27-3 ball game. And what is Navy up to here today? They are not showing up at all. And I hate to say this, but this might be a blowout game already here in this first half. So now first and 10. After we get a quick three and out there on Navy, Navy's offense just could not stay out there long enough to really get anything going and get any kind of momentum going for there for themselves offensively. As we see a handoff to Anderson, Anderson gets the catch. He or get the uh, takes the handoff there, I should say. And that's going to be another first down there for him as he's able to move the chains. So try to keep this clock ticking here, and of course keep the ball moving offensively here. And we'll see another handoff here. Anderson getting this one here. Anderson finally getting uh, wrapped up. But he does get some positive yards there looking at a second down. So far, this ball has been moving like lightning speed here offensively here for us. And I know Coach uh, Marvel says, hey, let's slow it down some more. As we'll see, Thomas gets a great catch there on that screen pass. Gets around the defender. And he'll get shoved out there just right near the... 22 yard line as we'll see another snap here play action here handing in here throws this one up there that's going to go to rock taylor and he's going to get the catch inside the five that's going to put him there and say he's at the one yard line so now again here we are in fill or uh, red zone again possibly getting another touchdown here we've already got two rushing touchdowns before of course got a rush to uh, passing touchdown that should have been a touchdown there and Lansphere, for whatever reason, cannot hold on to the football. So it looks like they're going to try maybe again here. Second and goal. And pass here to the tight end. The big tight end this time is able to hold on to it. Lansphere gets into the end zone there. Touchdown, Memphis. As the Tigers on the board here. And this is looking like a game that uh, I think a lot of fans... If they were watching this at home, especially if they're Navy fans, they're like, yeah, uh, this is always next week. <laughs> because this one is not looking too good right now for the Navy shipment. As we'll see. 256 left here in the first half. Hanging here throws this one up there. That's going to get batted away. I think that's the most I've seen that really this defense do here. A couple of battle. Uh, I think they batted away at least the ball at least two or three times now, but... For the most part, they just been just we were just offensively we just been eating up yardage here, and this is just not good for this Navy team. So I think at some point here in this game, I think I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Marvel decides to put some second string guys in there and get them some reps as well. They're gonna go ahead and why not go for it here on fourth and inches now? I mean Navy really hasn't been able to stop us with the ball, so now getting close to the two minute mark here. Hand this one off to Anderson. Anderson breaks a tackle, and he's going to get uh, finally wrapped up there for the first. So they do move the ball there on the fourth down conversion. Hand in here, throw it up the middle there. That's going to be caught by the tight end, Lansphere. Lansphere going to get this one, and he is going to get this one right up the middle. And that's going to be a nice first down. And just take a look there. Are well over 1,000 yards already here, and today he could definitely be he, I can see him really throwing, I mean, literally 500 yards here in this game passing. They're just, I mean, the passing game is just crazy. The, the defensive passing here uh, that Navy is just not really doing a good job of. Is, I mean, they can really give, I think they could probably give up 500 yards to us here today. So let's try to see if we can do that. First and 10. A buck 40 left here in the first half. 35-3. And again, just taking our time here with the uh, game clock here. We don't really need to get down the field in a hurry to score because so far right now the scoring has uh, not been a problem for us as we get a great catch there from Lansphere again for another first down. 
And then we'll go see a drop back here for the quarterback. He'll throw this one up there. That one almost went the other way, but defender did not have any hands. So incomplete pass. So that's okay. So let's be a little more, uh, you know, uh, cautious here on the throws. We'll see a pass there. That's going to be thrown there to Drake. And Drake is going to get the first down as he gets that one near the five-yard line. First and ten, or first and goal coming up. Henry uh, Kenny, uh, Henning there again throws this one in there. That's going to go to Drake, and that's a touchdown. Once again, Memphis Tigers get on the board here again. And Drake, there you see here, he is going to be definitely be celebrating here already. Two touchdowns in today's first half of this game. And we're about to put, I mean, we could put a 50, I mean, I, I'm going to, well, I would, yeah, definitely we're getting close to being putting a 50 burger on them, but I can see us putting up 80 points on these guys. It's just a horrible defense, man. Honestly, I did not change anything. You see a run here quickly. And as we're now in the third quarter, nice little run there from Anderson. As Anderson now goes on the outside here, runs this one up the middle, and that is going to be a huge first down. Honestly, I mean, I just recently just changed the settings here to make it more tougher. Um, Matt Tin just recently just releases uh, uh, his uh, slider set for. Uh, this game for for both America uh, for all American Heisman. Of course, I'm not ready for the ready for that Heisman level here, but he's made a pretty competitive uh, all American um, difficulty as well. And I mean, I've been practicing with it, and especially with this team. And uh, I, <laughs> today, I'm just shocked how well we're playing right now. But I mean, I can't really be complaining. As you see, over here, a thousand yards now for the season now for Anderson. So again, nice little touch there. Uh, I want to see more of that here in future games or maybe even more in this game as well in the future here, EA. Uh, I like to see stats. I want to see what's going on. I want to see some real-time stats for the game. You know, how many guys are, you know, how many catches a guy has, how many drops, you know. You know, how many carries I got currently with the quarterback or the wide receiver or with the halfback. As we'll see a pass up the middle there. That's going to be caught and no problem. But oh no, they say he dropped it. No catch there. I thought it was gonna that was it. Unfortunately, not the don't get the catch there. So now on the 27 yard line here, first and ten here for Memphis as we'll get a catch up the middle there. That's gonna be Blankum G. As he gets the catch, and he's inside the 10. Another first down here for us as we'll see a drop back here. And we got a scrambling quarterback here, and they catch up with him. And that's going to be a uh, loss there on the play. 41-6, uh, I, and I will say the kicking meter here has been kicking my butt as of late. <laughs> so that is something you'll probably see quite a bit here in these, uh, in this uh, playing this game here until I get used to the kicking meter as we see a great catch there. There is Rock Taylor again. Nice catch there for him. As our number one wide, wide receiver get, finds his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And we are now really, really considering here bringing some second string guys in now. As Taylor and this first string is just out there just, I mean, we feel like we're playing against a junior high squad here right now. 48-6 here. As we'll see a handoff. Draw back here for Hannigan up the middle. That's going to be caught by Blankachi, and he's going to get this one on the cross, uh, crossing the 50-yard line. Makes a huge first down. Nice uh, throw and a catch there. Great job there from the offensive line, doing a great job of pass blocking. First and ten after the big play. We'll see if we can finish it off in the end zone there. That's going to be thrown there to Drake. Drake's going to get the catch, and he's going to get inside the 20. And they're going to mark him somewhere near the 15-yard line for the first down. 5.45 left here in the, fur, in the uh, third quarter. And there you see there, quick pass there to the receiver. Got a little positive yardage there. Third down coming up. And we'll see this one being caught there by Drake. Drake gets the catch, gets the first down. And going to get stopped at the two-yard line. So now, obviously, in this situation here now, 
what are the odds of us getting a touchdown? I would imagine it'll probably be almost probably at uh, 99% here as we got a man in motion. That'd be the tight end. Hand off there to Anderson, and he gets it into the end zone there. Touchdown. That's his third rushing touchdown here today. As we have not really, I mean, we've been spanking them all over with a pat with a pass here today. I mean, the throwing's been just great. I can't really complain about it, but man, jeez, uh, I mean, I was, my game plan was just really try to run the ball as best as we possibly can. But then looking at the stats there, I'm like, you know, we might have to take a chance at, at the passing game. As you see, oh, that one almost went there. So we've already now had tw two attempts now, or at least no three attempts now already. Then to get an uh, interception here. Third and seven. They might be starting to key on what we're doing here. But it's pretty much already. They're already in trouble as is. As Taylor now gets a catch. And that puts them near the 40. But the secret's already out here. We already, we already, you know, the game plan is just to throw you guys. For the most part here. Take advantage of this, uh. Poor pass defense that they have. And just manipulate as best as we can. As Anderson runs this one there, that's going to be a nice little carry there for him as they get a gain of six on the play. Fourth or excuse me, second and four. Hannigan here looks here. He's going to throw this one there quickly. That's going to go to Lansphere. Lansphere is going to get this one. Crosses the 50. Gets taken down at the 35 of Navy. Minute 52 left here in the in the third quarter. And a handoff this time. Smith's into the game. And Smith will run this one as he gets a nice little game there, about four. So you start seeing some guys, you know, coming in here, especially in from the backfield here, taking their ch chance here to do something. Anderson here against another shot here to get a running game going. And they'll run that one for a nice game, just enough there to get the first down. But again, we got to keep uh, manipulating this defense, pass defense here. Got to try to take advantage of it here. And we do his. We see Drake gets it to the end zone again. Touchdown, Memphis. Yeah, about this time, I'm pretty sure, again, if you're watching this game at home live, I mean, what else is there that's really talk about that? It's just, this is just another game that's just going to be uh, in the books here for Navy, as they'll be for it, they end up uh, losing here. 62-6 to six right now, here as we start the fourth quarter. Uh, we have the ball here now, as we see, nice uh, run here. Anderson had to do a little leap there. Uh, but he'll get a, a nice little carry there for just short of getting to the first down marker. Third and f two coming up. And, of course, in this situation here, a game like this, you just want to kind of run the ball. Let's see what Anderson and Smith can do in the backfield here, as well as uh, Thompson. I believe Thompson's out there right now, man in motion. And yeah, handoff there. This is Thomas this time, and he is going to run this one. Break, try to break off a tackle, and he is going to get wrapped up there. And it's there at the we're at our own 45-yard line. Third and two. Again, handoff here. Anderson running to his own block, but he'll get out of it. And he'll get enough there to get the first down. Just or just enough there to get the first down. So new set of downs here for the Michigan or for uh, the Memphis Tigers. <laughs> As we'll see a handoff, and Anderson here again runs this one here. And oh, look at this! This could be it. He could be looking at the end zone. And he oh, he's gonna get stopped right at the five. Nice run there from Anderson. Yes, I believe he might be. I, I know he's well over the century mark here today. But he could be getting that two, 200 yard territory here. As he has a nice 48 yard carry there. And let's see if they call his number here to finish this off. First and goal coming up here for the Memphis Tigers. Looking to try to score here again. Drop back here for Hannigan. Hannigan throwing this one. Oh, this time they read this one. Nice job there for the line, middle linebacker. And that was just a bad read for us. As Navy got some excitement there. We, they've been pretty much dead there defensively here. But job, 
Grant. What a name. Gets the interception here today. First interception. And of course, that's the first interception in a long time now for Hennigan. As now we'll get the ball back here. They couldn't do nothing with the ball with the turnover there. As they only have six points right now. 64 to 6. As we're back on the field here offensively. And at this point here. Games like this, I talked to Coach uh, Morrow about this. You know, I told him, I was like, would you have any game plans for ball games that uh, if you ever get, you know, happen to, to blow out a team? He says, yeah, we got a game plan for that. We got guys that are, they got their own little playbook that they came up with plays. And so we'll probably see some of those plays here in this game at some point here. As now we'll see a great catch there from Rock Taylor. Now, again, in the red zone here. Let's try to see this time we can get this ball in the end zone. Pass there. That's going to be caught, and that's going to be a first. Uh, yo, no, just uh, three yards on that catch there. Second and seven. Hannigan here throwing up the middle there. That's going to go to Taylor, and he's going to get no reception there as that was knocked out at the last minute there. It's so now third and seven coming up. Hanging here, throws this one up there. That was almost going the other way. And again, they're reading that defense. They're just now starting to come alive here defensively as we'll kick a field goal up the middle. And the field goal is good. So we got a 61-point game on these guys right now. As we're just slaughtering them. Nice kick there to finish this drive off. And now we'll see what the, the Navy D, uh, offense can do here. If they can get anything going for themselves. It's been a really rough day, but even rougher for the uh, for the defense here. As the fans there, you see they're in shame. They can't show their faces there. 67-6. As now we have, a, like I said, a 61-point game on them. So we already put the 50-burger on them. Let's see what we can try to do here with 5.55 left here in the fourth quarter. Drop back. Hang in here. Throwing this one deep. This one's going to get caught. Taylor now has just a defender to get around, and he is going to get there into the end zone there. Touchdown, Memphis Tigers. Wow. That was just thrown right ahead of the wide receiver, which you want to do, and just right in the bucket there. Nice throw. For Hannigan, of course, a great catch, great uh, run and stride there for Rock Taylor as he gets himself another receiving touchdown here. He is going to have a really, really, really great game here. This is going to be, uh, you know, this game is going to be like, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some kind of honor here this week uh, for best uh, offensive uh, game here. As we get sacked pretty good there, we lost a gain of 11 on that play. As now, Hannigan here throw, goes back here, drops back, throws this one there. That's going to go to Drake, Drake, Drake. Gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Memphis Tigers. As they are now, it's now going to be 80, or it's going to be soon to be 81-6. to six As Kobe Drake gets a great catch there from the wide receiver. Look at this. Nice tight spiral. Throws that right in the hands there of the receiver. Right where he wants it. And we get a great we did a great job there on that drive. 401 left. Yeah, I mean look at this. We're still going here. As we get them to go three and out quickly. And now we're just I mean, this is getting ridiculous here. It's like, man, do I <laughs> do I keep just running the offense we've been running, or just do I just let up and just try to I mean, we're trying to, I mean, honestly, I'm trying to let up and let the clock run down here. But even then, we're to run the ball there. They still cannot stop us here. 324 left here in the fourth quarter. And I'm sure this is a game that Navy would like to circle for next year. And try to come back at, at us here. You see Thomas here now running this one here. Thomas just has one man to get through between him and that end zone. Nice run there for him. He's definitely going to go to the sidelines and take a huge breather. 2.50 left. 
As again, Hannigan here is going to take his time here, snap the ball, and hand off to Anderson. And he gets into the end zone there. Touchdown, Mr. Anderson. And the Memphis Tigers get another one here. As they are now putting 81, soon to be 82 points on this Navy squad here. Like I said, Navy definitely are going to have this circled for next year's game. Make sure they get a game against them if they do. And and, and really, <laughs> be honest, try to do the same thing to us. 88-13. They're finally getting something going there as they did score a touchdown offensively. And then we'll see you here now as they are now. Ooh, hit, uh, we're trying to hit Taylor pretty good there. Wrapped him up pretty good there. Trying to see if they, guess if they try to get that football from him. Less than a minute and a half left. And now we're just running the football as best as we possibly can and just try to run this uh, game clock down as much as we possibly can. See, nice uh, move there. Or nice uh, try to do a decent maneuver there for, from Thomas. It's now second down. 45 seconds left here. Man in motion. And a handoff there to Anderson here. Anderson getting some good blocking here. Trying to get to the first down marker, but he's going to get shoved. And he's going to be three yards short of the first down. So now third down here. We're going to try to see if we can revert here for this first down. And pretty much this could be the last play of the ball game here. As we're just trying to whittle down the final seconds of this one here. Get out of this here. Get out of this game here and just uh, get out of this. Uh, I'm sure Navy would love to get out of this train wreck that we're in today. Giving up that many points. Jeez. They are definitely going to have to go back to the drawing board here as after they lose this one. 88 to 13. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So, as you take a look there, yeah, 500 yard, 558 yards, eight touchdowns, and one interception there for our QB here today. I, you know, I was when I looked at their game the last couple of weeks, I'm like, man, their, their passing game is, you know, god awful. Like, Maybe we could take advantage of it. Of course, my always my game plan is, is is my bread and butter. It's the running game, short passing and stuff. But then after a while, you know, I start thinking like, let's just go ahead and let's just see what we can do, and uh, and that's what we're able to do. So we score 88 on them, as uh, we get a big win here and a nice victory here for the Memphis Tigers. As the Tigers uh, just show off what they can do offensively here today. And like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we get some kind of... Uh, uh, I know for sure we'll get a conference award. Because uh, by far, I mean, <laughs> he put up... I mean, he put the quarterback through that many touchdowns and put, and put up that many points here. That's definitely going to get you honors for the uh, conference. But for nationally, we'll have to see. It might be a little tough. Uh, because of, especially with the team we're playing against, but uh, having in 30, uh, well, we'll see here in just a bit. But you take a look here at the numbers there. Yeah, they get that one interception there. That's about the only flaw that we had in our game. But other than that, oh yeah, look at that, 1,053 yards in total offense. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at their quarterback here, 15 to uh, 26 there, 206 yards. Uh, he completed 57 percent of his passes and one touchdown and one interception. I mean, he had just, I mean, from the, from being on the starting blocks and as soon as they shot the gun to go, he just stumbled. <laughs> uh, tough day there. I mean, only one interception, but he just, offensively, they just could not get anything going. Uh, you know, you see Alex uh, Texaza uh, there. He had one fumble, one bro uh, broken tackle as well, uh, but 51 yards on 15 or 16 carries there for him. And then look at the rest of the numbers there. No, just a horrible day on the ground. And then even in the air, uh, the most was 59 yards there. And that was from the wide receiver there um, for them. So, yeah, rough day there. They had three guys that had, uh, you know, 50 or 10 or more tackles. Um, but, again, they could not stop the passing. They just could not, uh, you know, they just couldn't. The air raid that we were throwing on them for the most part here. Was just too much for them. And of course, you know, Job Grant did get that one interception there. 
but of course, when they got the interception, they couldn't even turn it into points because they turned the ball right over back to us. So, uh, and then um, take a look at our numbers there. Uh, Seth did, did a great job there. 558 points or <laughs> 558 yards there for eight touchdowns and one interception. 27 39 there for the ball game. Anderson, Mr. Anderson, 32 carries. Uh, 255 yards, three touchdowns, and four broken tackles. Thomas, seven carries for 128 yards, a touchdown on the ground as well, and two broken tackles. Uh, Taylor, uh, we'll see his numbers here in just a bit, but yeah, this was a great performance. I mean, I just I I couldn't believe it, uh, and I'm you know I now I can't say we this season. I can I go back and say hey, I wish we had a game that we could just throw the ball around because. We had that game. <laughs> uh, receiving wise, uh, Taylor eight catches, two hundred and thirty-three uh, thirty-three yards, three touchdowns. Uh, Drake nine catches, one hundred seventy-one yards, four touchdowns for him in this game. And of course, uh, Lansphere had five catches for fifty yards and a tutty for him. Uh, and then uh, we'll see. I'll see the defensive numbers here in just a bit, but. Yeah, like I said, we cannot uh, be upset about that at all. This is a great job for this week. And that, I'm ho really hoping that even though it is, uh, you know, um, it's not a well-known name. It's not a top 25 school that we, we put, uh, you know, hurting on. But I'm really hoping that the recruits that we're going after here, um, you know, yeah, because we got a couple of coming up here uh, pretty soon here coming to the school. I'm hoping that this uh, boost there interest even more to us and uh, we can uh, you know get that brand exposure as well as just try to get some more recruits uh, going more towards our way than the other way you see there the American offensive player of the week there week four against Navy great honors there for a well-deserved there like I said great job there from Seth as he did a great job there playing a hell of a game and uh, you know you can't put eight touchdowns on any damn team really to be honest <laughs> to be quite honest there uh so we do get uh, american like i said i i was you know obviously a bit nice we got national league uh the national um you know you know national the ncaa player of the week offensive player of the week but eh, we're it's all right it was against navy we're you know we're like we're the favorites of that game anyway so we'll have to see what we can do coming up and uh, this next game coming up here, as we see Middle Tennessee State, they are two and two, three and one in conference, and we'll see how we play against the Blue Raiders, as that'll be a home bat or be a home game there as we return for that one. There should be a good one. I cannot wait, and uh, they've had some pretty good, uh, interesting uh, openers or games as well here leading up to this one. Here, we'll talk more about that coming up in the next episode. So, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, which I'm sure you probably did or not uh depending on your if you're rooting for us or against us uh hopefully you leave, hopefully you will leave a like don't forget to subscribe for more and of course hit that bell notification so you guys be notified of this series or any other series here on the channel follow us on the social medias down below and of course go check us out on the second channel over on esgn net plus lp as we got a really cool road to glory series over there you guys can catch that series every thursday at 2 p.m central on that um, here on youtube on that channel that my second channel as well as great other content here on this channel here on esgn every afternoon at 3 p.m central time as always guys keep yourselves near the healthy and i will see you all next time